Hello, my good friend, my dear friend. Today, let's talk about just be. No matter how many spiritual books you have read, no matter how many years meditation we have practiced. There's one criteria to measure how good you are, I mean in terms of how mature you are in the spiritual awakening is can you or can we just be meaning can you fully can we fully accept what we already have For this moment, right now, can we fully accept what we have, what we are experiencing, without any judgments, without any resistance, without any attachments? That's the meaning of just be. We can have a try now, just be. Take a deep breath. Relax the whole body. Relax the mental body. Just be. That's about one minute. How's that? You may notice, even if we have very good intention of just a be, there, w there will be a lot of, or there would be lots of disturbance or distractions. in the body-mind. We 
which means there's a conflict, there may be a conflict between our intention of just be and our habitual thinking behavior. That's where a true practice starts. When we notice there's a disharmony, disconnection between our intention and action or behavior, that's where we should practice. For example, in this session or intention of just be. Our intention is just be. Letting go all the judgments, attachments, resistance of what's going on and what happened in the past or what will happen in the future, letting go all these worries and concerns. That's a very good intention. But you may find there is a disharmony between that intention and habitual behavior and thinking. We may have a fully understanding of what awakening means. Literally, we have very good understanding, but in the true practice, can you bring that intention or understanding into the everyday life? Can you keep calm, connected, undisturbed? stable, clear, and open when we face challenges, when we face difficulties. That's why we need meditation. Meditation is bring the harmony or connection between the good intention and our behavior. We can try again. So intention now is relax the body, calm the mind, and open the heart for one minute.
Okay, how about this time? Do you recognize, or can we recognize, the disturbance, distractions, unease? If we do, then we improved a little bit, meaning at least we notice or we recognize some disturbance, distractions exist in a way of awakening, in the path of awakening. The approach is just let it go. Purely observe our habitual behavior, our patterns of thinking, our habitual attitudes, prejudgments, and so on. Purely observe their appearances. Again, don't resist. Don't say, I'm not good because I have this negative behavior and thoughts. No. That's another judgment again. Just let it go. The more you can let it go, the more we are be we can be free from them. All the disturbance, judgments or attachments won't exist or have less power of have less power over us if we don't feed them by our attention. Our attention is the food to the habitual thoughts, behaviors, speech, and so on. So we cut the food supply, our attention to them, and they will starve and die. We have to continuously, constantly, to cut that food supply, the attention to them, again and again, again and again, until one day they never appear, they never appear anymore. Okay, one more minute practice of just be.
how about this time? Can you just be? Can we just be? Without any disturbance, distractions, attachments, judgments, desires, and so on. All this power, thinking, judgments, description, you won't, lo you won't lose it, you won't lose them. But once you have the power of let the letting them go, actually it increases the power of thinking, increase the power of differentiation. Just be is a very good phrase because after be, just be, after be, there's no object. It's prior to an object, meaning you're not become anything. You're not become a role, a social role, like a, a parent, a professor, a doctor, a scientist. You're not becoming a thing, a thought, a behavior, a word. It's prior to any manifestation. It's prior to any expression. So just be. It's prior to any expression becoming or manifestation physically, mentally, emotionally, even spiritually. You just be. It's a very good phrase. You are nothing yet. You, you become nothing yet. You're prior to become anything. You're just be. Means you're just aware. You just purely observe. It's a very good phrase. Just be. Very close to our nature. Just be is that feels like you are living in a field of infinite possibility. It's like a painter standing before a blank white canvas or paper. He or she got a brush or pens, a pencil in his hand, but she or he does not start to draw yet or paint yet. She got that infinite possibility Just be. You see, you have that infinity in your hands.
Once you make the decision to draw a line, a dot, or any color, you make the infinite into finite. But after first stroke, you can hold it back again. to have that infinity before you have second stroke. You can back and forth to the infinity, to that be between the becoming and being, or just be. It's such a beautiful realization. Okay, that's all for today. Enjoy your state of just be and a state of becoming. Thank you.